We were able to send man to the moon, but we can't send a photo from our iPhone to our Windows PC in the year 2023. There is a big inconsistency there. I know people personally that have Discord servers with just themselves in it so they can send videos and files from their phones to their computers. Well, that problem is no more because of Intel Unison. I, I can't believe it was actually Intel that was the company that bridged the gap between Windows and iPhone. This app literally lets you transfer files, videos, make phone calls, everything just as if you had a Mac, but from a app on your Windows computer. Now, one weird thing is that if you look this app up on the Windows store, you're not gonna find it. I tried it myself for some reason, Intel Unison is not there. So you have to use the link in the description for, I don't know why, it's not an affiliate link, I promise I'm not gonna get money off this link, it's totally free, but it's really weird how it's not showing up on the store by itself. Next, download the app on your iPhone, it should be titled Intel Unison, really easy, just press download, and all you have to do to pair your phone is connect your phone from Bluetooth to your computer, be on the same Wi-Fi, and then just scan the code right on your screen. So to fix the issue where you have to get a file from your phone to your computer via email or through Discord, all weird third-party apps, now all you have to do is just literally drag and drop from your computer and it goes directly to your phone. Watch this. Pick up this .zip folder right here, drop it on Alex, and then it's sent. That was like, it was that instant. It's right there, <laughs> like literally. That's the file. I can just press on that right there and open. That's the file right on my phone, super, super quick. So it's not only photos and videos, but it's also .zip files and everything else as well. This is a video file for an example. I'm gonna drag and drop this video file and watch how fast it pulls up to my phone. Drop, done. That's the video just pulled up right onto my phone right there. This is actually faster than Discord, faster than all these third-party apps, and your phone just has to have the app running in the background, not even actually on the foreground itself. This is also the gallery. So to get a video or photo from your phone to your computer, you literally just press on it, and then press download. It's done. Like it was near instantaneous, just as if I was using a Mac computer, when in reality, this actually is Windows. It's working so fast. I can highlight multiple and send all of these photos to my computer. Can I do all of them? That's sick. Yeah, I can just hold shift and do like 30 photos at once. It's gonna download these all to my computer. 13, 22%, 50, 70, 80, it's done. That was so quick. All right, now we have messages. I have my friend right here. I'm gonna have to have send me messages. Right here we can see, this is our chat log. He's gonna text me, subscribe, and it's gonna show up right on my computer. Right there, I got a notification on my Windows PC of my friend texting me to subscribe to my channel, which you probably already are, right? <laughs> Imagine not subscribing. <laughs> we can go here to messages. I see his name and I say, hey, if I send this text, he literally is getting a iMessage, not even like a regular text. Now, when he texts me off of his phone, we just press enter right there, and I got it as a text. I also get it as a notification on my Windows computer, and if I, I can actually answer his text from my notification. Speaking of notifications, you get notified for every single app that you have downloaded on your phone. So it's as if your phone, which you normally have to like look down every time you're on your computer, you have to like look at two different screens. Now this can be on charge somewhere else in your house. As long as the Intel Unison app is open somewhere in the background, it's gonna transfer all your notifications, text messages, and even phone calls. It uses the microphone from my actual PC and my headphones from my actual PC. So when he calls me, which he should any minute now, it's making a nice sound. That's actually. All right, yo. Yo, can you hear me, bro? I can hear you, bro. That's crazy, bro. That is pretty crazy, bro. Are you subscribed to I'm Lucid? Of course, bro. <laughs> so as I call him on my uh, computer, actually, it says Bluetooth to Alex PC. So the f call is actually active on my phone, but all the audio is being routed to my microphone and to my computer automatically. So there's no need to even hold my phone to touch it, to grab it, nothing. Like I can do this all for my PC now. Text me on WhatsApp. I should get a notification to my Windows computer. Like the actual Windows notifications should alert me that I just got a text from WhatsApp. Send. Subscribe to iLucid. Right there. The sound, notif, and everything is right there. I can dismiss it or just see what pop-ups. And to answer, unfortunately, you have to be on your phone to go deeper into like the other apps. But uh, iMessage and uh, calls actually do work from the notification section. So now the bridge has been closed between iOS and Windows. You can get your text, calls, notifications, all of the above file transfer nearly instantaneously, just as if you were using a Mac. To all the Mac fanboys out there, I'm sorry, but there's no more need to buy a Macintosh computer when you can build your own Windows PC. Thank you for watching this video. Stay dreaming, stay lucid. I'm out. Peace.